and everyone talking about how two words record reference as one. So we know that the age of acquisition is where early acquired work happens more quickly than late acquired works. It's all to be the result of my representation and neural network changing over time. However, it's limited to less retrieval, but it's not been expanded to memory, so we're expanding it to memory with a recognition for early and review before measuring late time stages. Okay, so we have 180 participants that were over four experiments, each 120 in each of them. They were given 226 now now compounds, a series of certain risk predictors were spaced and unspaced. Compounds, experiment one and three were unspaced, experiment two and four were spaced compounds. We had a fixation of five milliseconds, each stimulus was on screen for 1.5 seconds. 19 words were free recall, 38 words were for recognition. This was done to ensure that uh, we don't get floor effects for free recall, four words for 38 words, which is very common. Struct task, um, there was a simple mathematics verification problem. Testing phase for the recall is we asked participants to recall as many words they could from the study list, action calculate. In the recognition, we had we gave them 30 old and 30 new words that to indicate whether they're all new. Um, and we used to see the detection theory here. So what we see is something kind of cool. So overall, we see that measures of frequency familiarity AOA and eligibility of the compound words contributes all over to across free recall and recognition memory, irrespective of spacing, except for frequency, which doesn't contribute to space recognition memory, word length only contributes to space recognition memory, spine transparent only contributes to free recall together with modified immutability. And whereas the head uh, lexeme, so plane for airplane, um, contributes more to the recognition memory and sometimes to free recall. And what we see is the slope is a lot steeper for between recall than for recognition memory. And what that kind, what's really cool is across the four experiments, we can say that the age at which someone learns a compound impacts recognition memory and recall performance. And the age at which we acquire the modifier lexing with familiarity and mutuality is more likely to affect free recall. So later to later form and meaning can be to recognition memory performance. We also had look at the interaction between AOA and spacing, and unspaced words produced a smaller AOA effect than spaced um, compounds. And what this could mean is that we're seeing some distinctness and map between representations. But we need to expand this to beyond um, words to sort of tanograms to see if the AOA effect occurs as a perceptual representation or if it should remain at its mass level. But what we can say is the AOA effect generalizes from electrical to memory and the same mechanisms within the different quantum domain.